We'll move on to our next bit of news. The Brisbane Broncos. Uh, Jermaine Asako, Cody Nicarima, Andrew McCullough, and Anthony Milford attend an AFL camp with the North Melbourne Kangaroos, uh, primarily focused on developing their kicking skills. What are your thoughts on this? Is this a good initiative? Do you think more NRL teams should follow suit, or do you think let, this is one code, this is another code? I think it's a good. I think it's a good move. I'm kind of surprised more teams haven't done it. I think I feel like the Storm have done it in the past. Yeah. Maybe not kicking, but they definitely done work with AFL teams. Yeah. Um, because I think they used to train right near St Kilda, maybe. Mm-hmm. But um, I mean, you look at those positions. Like, it, it, how handy is it having a fullback with a kicking game or a hooker with a good kicking game? So, I feel like it's a good move. Yeah, I agree, and and also not just in terms of on field abilities. Also, off-field abilities, I feel like the NRL could take a page out of AFL players in terms of professionalism. Um, obviously, AFL is a larger sport, yet we hear about less scandals. Um, there was one today I saw on the news, though. Oh, there was. Which is interesting. Oh. Yeah, a guy snorting some stuff off a, off a girl. Oh, okay. But, um, yeah. yeah, maybe not up to NRL drama levels, but, you know, mm. there were some. Yeah, the AFL boys are certainly... A little more tame. You are correct on the Melbourne Storm, though. They do have a close working relationship with St. Kilda. So much so, Billy Slater signed an, uh, a deal with St. Kilda, a one-year deal as sort of like a development coach with them. I'm not sure. What a trader. Yeah, I'm not sure as to what his <laughs> role is. To me, it's more of a gimmick role. Um, but yeah. one thing about the Storm is every single winger has been incredible under the high ball. Um, Scissor Wonga. Suliasu Vunavalu, Marika Korobetti, Josh Adokar. Every single one of their wingers, I, I can't think of any more off the top of my head, but every single one of their wingers from the past at least five years, I just, just you just you can just picture them so visit like vividly under the high ball, scoring spectacular tries, right? Yeah, but even then, like plays before, like they had like Steve Turner and stuff who was small. Because initially I was thinking, oh, it's just because they got the Fijians. Fijians are good outside backs. But mm. even like little Steve Turner was, he was safe as under the high ball. And he was at the storm. I think Anthony Quinn was there. Like even you go way back, they were pretty good under the high ball. So yeah, yeah. big Matty Geyer who ended up being a teacher at my school. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah, really weird story. So. This new teacher walks past, and all my friends and like all of like we were sitting like at a table with a bunch of my mates, a couple of girls and stuff at high school. And uh, this dude got him goes, "Oh look, it's the new teacher." I've turned around and gone, "That's not a teacher, that's Matt Guyer." And everyone's <laughs> like, "Who?" And I just it ran up. I was like, "Matt," I was like, "Matt, what's going on?" And he's, "Oh, I'm, I'm a teacher here." I was like, "Oh, sorry, Mr. Guyer." Like, really? Was he? A, let me guess. Was he a PE teacher? PE English, I believe. He, he also comes. Uh, well, I had um. Well. At my school, I had Steve Morris, like um, Brett and Josh's dad. Mm. He was a PE teacher. Yeah. So that seems to be the go-to for the former players. Yeah. Be straight, a PE teacher. Straight into the PE role. Yeah, well, I mean, and our old players all seem to f- follow like a pretty similar path in retirement. Media, coaching, teaching in some facet. I guess you do learn a lot of skills during your time in the NRL, so it is good to see them giving back to the next well, it, generation. Well, it seems... It seems like every man and their dog, like all the players, they're, they're all going into the media or that that's the goal. They all want to be on Fox Sports. Yeah, I just I just think with some of them, I won't name particular names, you, you can tell when they're reading off a script. And like, Gaznia. Yeah, the example, like he, before games, he goes, this is a great game between the Titans and the Warriors and the last three games they've met, it ended in, tw- and you can just—it's it, so scripted. Like it's, it's not yeah. like a, a bloke talking footy. It's like a news reporter almost. But okay. and also, I, f- I find some of them when they do the commentating, they feel that screaming, like everything, is how to commentate. Uh-huh. And I'm just like, man, yeah. not everything's like an exciting play. Mm-hmm. Don't need yeah. to scream about everything. I guess it goes back to just because you're a good player doesn't mean you'll be a good coach. Et That's cetera, it, etc.